Okay, so there's the handle. Done with that. Good, clear that pivot. Get out of solo mode. And at the end, we're going to blend all these forms together. So don't concentrate too much on one form going into the next just yet. I want to just produce three really cool forms. And then we'll blend them in the last video, or one of the last videos. So this one, let's go into solo mode. Activate symmetry. This one I'm going to divide up. And this time, I'm going to do this little trick here before I do it. I'm going to polish this so I get something that looks like that, and then divide it up. That polish feature is by far some of my some of the most favorite things about ZBrush. I enjoy ZBrush for having something like that at my disposal. So it's like an average vertice back in Maya. Okay, so I have something that looks like this now. And I'll lower it down. And you're going to find out if you use the lower to kind of move things around and then go back up high, you're going to get this really smooth look. Uh, sometimes it takes a while to go from level 8 to 1, though, especially for the first couple times. Okay, so I have symmetry on. I'm just going to go back to that move. This is my move elastic brush. I'm just trying to produce a very interesting shape. Oh, undo everything except for the level change. Darn it. <laughs> uh, don't forget symmetry. We have to re put a new symmetry point out there. Before we change anything. And yeah, let's set that back. I'm just going to do that here. Set pivot. And then lower it back down. Notice it's, it's responding a lot faster, and that's normal because now it's got its, a better pivot and it's been through the process once of going down in levels. So. Okay, so I'm just making some unique shape object. Make those a little straighter. Again, we're going to be blending it a little bit more in later lessons, but for right now, I would say the shape's cool. I just don't like how it's fighting itself as far as this is a flat spot down here, and then here there's a point so you know that's just it just doesn't meld well to me maybe a point here and a point here look better I go up to eight first and then I'm gonna go back down to six or seven this will keep all my layers or all my levels equal so I'm not making so much of a change on the lower levels and then going all the way back up again this is to make it so it calculates a little faster when I keep going back and forth whenever there's a large calculation from 1 to 8 that's when it's taken such a long time
All right. Now I'm just going to go to six and start sculpting on it. This time I'm going to create a different kind of pattern here. I'm not sure what. I'm just going to have some fun with it. Jeez. Now, could you imagine these as one subtool, though? If you, if you had a subtool that had, if this is a million and if the other one's a million, I would argue that you already have a two million poly object and you haven't even accounted for the third object yet. So this allows me to have each object have a million or two million polys. And I'm probably going to remain in six for a while until the very end, and then I'll stop the video and go back to eight. Um, I just need enough polygons to pull off the next trick, and that's just kind of a surface thing. So sorry for taking this and having ZBrush so slow. Okay, so here we go. Standard brush. Not that. Dot. Stroke. Lazy mouse. And what I'm going to do is have some fun with the lazy mouse tool. We're going to create some designs. And we're going to try to keep on the surface as best we can. Don't worry about things maybe see how they're it's almost like a spot welding effect here this this will even out by holding shift but the next step I'll show you how to get rid of that now this is detail that we're probably not going to see because there's a handle here but I'm still going to make it I'm just kind of playing around with this, seeing what looks good, what doesn't look good. Again, this is all going to change here in the next step. So don't get too, like even I'm concentrating too much on this. Okay, there we go. Now in the next step, we're going to take and tighten this design up, make it a little bit more high res.